One of the dumbest things ever written is a little ditty, sticks and stones break my bones, words don't hurt me. I say that is pure stupidity because nothing on earth hurts more, burns fiercer, cuts deeper than harsh, sharp words. And most of the time they're untrue. An old gossip can assume something and pass that assumption along as a fact. And let me add, the men are just as bad as the women. The result is the hurting and harming of others. Reminds me of the story of Mildred, the old gossip who stuck her nose into other people's business and came up with the wrong conclusion, as 99% of them all do. She made a mistake, however, when she accused George, a new member of the church, of being an alcoholic because she saw his old pickup parked in front of the town's only bar. She told George and several others that anyone seeing it there would know that what he was doing. He is an alcoholic, pure and simple, no question about it. Of course, George was hurt, but he didn't try to defend himself or explain the circumstances. He just walked away. However, later that evening, George quietly parked his old pickup truck in front of Mildred's house. Then he walked home and he left it there all night. Wow, you just have to love George, don't you? But all too often, it's not possible to get the source of the slander and it spreads like wildfire. St. James, in talking about the tongue and gossiping, says, it's set on fire of hell, James 3, verse 6. Think of that, a tongue set on fire from hell. But James is right, the tongue of the gossip is from hell. That's why James calls it that. So what do we do about it? Well, first of all, make sure we ourselves are not gossips. Psalmist puts it so well in the words, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Psalm 141, verse 3. Be sure, dead sure, gossip does not originate with yourself. Pray as the psalmist did that the Lord would guard my tongue so that nothing evil can come from it. But suppose you're not the gossip, but someone is giving you the false and hurting information. I heard a, had a dear Christian lady in my church years ago who if someone started idle talk or gossip, she would say, I don't believe a word of what you're saying. And unless you stop right now, I'm going to leave. That's what all of us need to do. But all too often we all have ears and we're all ears just to hear the old gossiper. You know what? If you listen and partake in God's eyes, you're just as evil as the gossiper. If none of us would listen, gossip would die out overnight. Let's join in the prayer of David found in Psalm 19, 14, where he said that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So, Heavenly Father, that's our prayer. Help us not to be a gossiper, but a bearer of good news. In Jesus' name, amen.